hello everyone in this video we will see how to set up windows hello pin on the machines which are joined to azure ad if we have machines which are managed on premises there are ways we can enable windows hello pin using key based trust or certificate based but there are steep requirements for both of them like in key based trust you need to windows 2016 domain controllers in certificate based trust you need uh, certificates and there are other requirements for ADFS as well however if you move all your workload to cloud your machines are as already joined then it's very easy to enable windows hello by default in uh, Intune we get the option under device enrollment windows enrollment windows hello for business so from here we can configure windows hello however in this case this is applied to all the users so we cannot change it to apply to a set of users let's say you are doing a pilot to certain devices only so this option is not available here in order to do that we need to go under intune go to device configuration go to profiles we will have to create a profile here under windows 10 and later and that would be a custom profile wherein we will define the OMA URI settings for Windows Hello and then apply it to a collection of PCs so Windows Hello will be enabled only for those PCs so let me show you a Microsoft article about that Passport for Work CSP which talks about those OMA URI settings which we can set up to configure windows hello for business i have also listed them down here in the notepad which i have configured so these are the settings i have put in my azure ad tenant id in this place so in your environment you will have to go to azure active directory and properties of it from there you can copy the tenant id and replace the values here so once you have done that you will go to Intune device configuration create a profile so this is the profile which I have created and created these entries here so it has the OMA URL settings with my Azure tenant ID and I have specified these values like use passport for work true uh, minimum pin length 6 maximum pin length 16 I have made special character a requirement one special character so once you have created these settings you will assign it to a collection of uh, devices in my case I have a collection where my Azure AD joint machine is already part of so I will add that collection to this and save the settings and this is my Windows 10 Azure AD joint machine so now I will wait for the policy to sync or I can force the policy by going into settings accounts access work and school for sync so once the policy syncs I will reboot the PC and it should ask me to set up a Windows hello pin so I'm going to reboot it now so the advantage here is that the Windows hello for pin will be applicable only to the devices which are part of this group not all the machines i will log in with my password okay now it is asking me to set up the pin so i will click on setup pin and it will go for multi-factor authentication and send the sms to my mobile phone which I will have to enter here now I will enter a new pin here with one special character so I have uh, set up the pin now so if I log off and log back in I can do so by using my pin so it's asking me for my pin to log in however I can go under sign in options click on this key sign and use the password as well 
but I will log in with my pin. Now, as the pin has been set up, now if the user device has biometric authentication like uh, fingerprint reader or uh, facial recognition, then the user can enable that. So he will go under sign in options. And here uh, they can set up Windows Hello Face or Windows Hello Fingerprint. This is a virtual machine, so I cannot set up Windows Hello Face or Fingerprint. I have set up Windows Hello Pin. I can change it from here. Even if I forget the pin at the login prompt, I get the option to change it from there as well or reset the pin from there as well. Here I can click on I forgot my pin and I will enter my password and it will go through multi-factor authentication and I can set up a new pin. One thing you need to note here is that once you enable this for a pilot set of devices or let's say all the production devices, you cannot disable it from here. Like you cannot remove this policy and expect the pin to go away. If you want to do that, then there are some manual ways to do that. So be careful about that. Okay, now even if I remove this policy, the pin will stay on the machine. So we have seen the advantage here of moving our device to Azure AD and setting Windows Hello. Unlike on-prem, we do not require servers, we do not require Windows 2016 DCs, ADFS, certificate, based on what kind of trust we are selecting. If there are more settings you want to set, this is the link for different OMA URI settings. So you can have a look there and enable those as well. As for these ones, I will paste it in the description of this video. And I hope you like this one. And please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. Thank you. Bye-bye.